An agricultural revolution is the name given to a number of cultural transformations that allow citizens to move from subsist, subsist, subsistence farming to a mechanized one. Kogi State is leading the way in this regard. Governor Usman Ododo is taking the bull by the horns, as they say, by flagging up this year's wet season farming in the state with over 100 tractors to serve about 10,000 farmers in different farming communities across the 21 local government areas of Kogi. Now, the state government stepped up this by providing 76 farm clusters and revitalizing disused tractors for mechanized farming. Governor Odudu says investment in agriculture is a critical step towards poverty er uh, eradication. Babajide Kolade Otitoju, that is state anyway, uh, have visited the state to assess these developments and he has brought back this story. Just let's go. It is a widely held belief that enhancing agricultural productivity helps strengthen livelihoods. Indeed, fixing agriculture is a most effective way to achieve economic growth and reduce poverty. Treating agri-production with seriousness and urgency, the governor of Kogi State, Alaji Ahmed Usman Ododo, has taken steps to stimulate agri-production, meeting farmers right at the point of their needs. The governor says his decision to prioritize farming has a lot to do with his background as a farmer, adding that he was in fact born on a farm. In talking about your love for farming, somebody said it's because you were actually born inside the farm. Is it true or is it a rumor? It's true. That you were born right inside Yes, so right in the farm. I was told when my mother was uh, harvesting, I was giving back to and I'm, the yes, I'm a farmer. I love farming. And uh, by the time I retired, I'll go back to farm. I'm a farmer. Uh, something you're proud of. Yeah, yeah, something I'm proud of. I'm a complete farmer. The state government has 76 farm clusters spread across the 21 local government areas in the state. Among the farm clusters are Geregu, Egain, Ibaji, Basa, Ejiba, Oduape, Osara, Girinya, amongst others. Recently, I visited Giregu village, a Jakuta local government area of Kogi State. It plays host to one of the 76 farm clusters initiated by the Ahmed Usman Ododo administration of Kogi State. Giregu also plays host to one of Nigeria's biggest power plants, the 435 megawatts Giregu Power PLC, owned by billionaire Femi Otedola. I was received by the Kogi State Commissioner for Agriculture and Food Security, Timothy Ojoma. Welcome, Mr. Yeah, Babajide. Thank you. How is everything? See you. Welcome to our farm. Yes. This is Gerebu Farm, okay. one of our 76 uh, farm centers in Kogi State. This place has uh, over 500 hectares of land, and the design is for one man, one hectare. Okay. And, uh, one, it's man, one, hectare. one man, one hectare. And what government has done is uh, semi-mechanization. We have brought tractor to the farm. As you can see, these places have been tractorized, plow, and uh, we introduce mini planting machine and uh, the manual one too. And this is the pilot scheme, and we wish to improve on it in the next season. Here, the state government has here marked 500 hectares on farmlands for its program and has already tractorized 300 hectares. Farmers here are happy to receive us and thank government for the support they are getting. We appreciate His Excellency Ahmed Ududu, what he has done to Giregu. This is the first time in history that such project commenced in Giregu. We are a rice farmer. All of us are gathering here. That is our work that we are doing here. And we thank God for the governor and bring it down to here. Since we have been doing farm rice, no any governor come here to come and flag up. 
I will use this opportunity to appreciate the government because um, so far we've been farming for a very long time and um, nobody has come to assist us. We are very happy for this opportunity. Like people have said, this is the first time in the history of this community that such kind of project is coming up. Even the talk of appeal, we have never had it so nice like this. That they brought tractor, the tractor have been here for the past three weeks, tilling people's land. And nobody, they are foiling it, and they are the one paying the operators. Our own just, they go to your farm and turn your land. And as from yesterday, they started giving us input to make sure that we go ahead and uh, farm. I think the governor has done very, very well. Very, very well. It's, uh, it's, in fact, it's, it's, it's tremendous. We don't have road. We need security. Because the, if, we, if not, if we check now, very soon you see cars will start passing. And sometimes in the night, they can just go, all these things are suffering, they can just go and destroy everything. They'll eat your crops. Yes, yeah, they go away. So that's a, this is one major uh, problem we'd like the governor to, to focus on. I'm in Geregu village, Ajakuta local government area of Kogi state, where the state government has a big rice project. On this site, there is 500 hectares of farmland where the farmers grow rice, cassava, as well as maize. But behind me is the rice farm. And as you can see, these are the farmers. Each of the farmers is entitled to one hectare of rice. And they help themselves to plant as well as weed the rice farms. You can see, as far as the eyes can see, the rice is being grown here. In fact, it's beginning to sprout. When the farmer sees this sign, he knows that harvest time is near. And it's a thing of joy to farmers in Geregut village that government has come to support them as best as it, as it can. Communal life in Geregu is impressive. Each farmer is entitled to one hectare, but they come together to assist one another in planting. That is the rice okay. they are planting. And, uh, as you can see, what they do, this is on one person's uh, land. Yes. portion of land. So that person engaged he engaged the whole of them, they come together, help the person to do his own hectare. Mm. By tomorrow, it will be the turn of another person, what they will go to the farm of that person again yes. and help the person and finish his or her own hectare of land again. Women and youth takes about 75% of uh, the people that were engaged. The, 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 the interest is simple. These are the people that can easily sustain our homes. Mm. <laughs> From Geregu, we headed back to Lokoja, the Kogi state capital. I needed to see for myself where the government was turning water to wine by bringing disused tractors back to life with a view to using them to actualize its goals in the agri sector. I was received by engineers King Ako and David Iyaji, Chief Operating Officer and Chief Executive Officer, respectively of A.A. Sura Agricultural Machinery and Engineering Company. You know, I will really good to see you. Same here, sir. Yeah. His, his, his Highness, the King, yeah. Mr. King. Good to see you, sir. 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 Engineer Ako noted that the company was engaged by the government of Kogi State to repair tractors abandoned for years. Some of them recovered from different locations across Nigeria where they had been used illegally. He said refurbishing the tractors in the way they have done helps save time in the planting season and saves money as well, since a brand new one costs between 60 to 70 million naira. My mandate as the chief operating officer is to recondition this machine and bring them states. First um, is to save the government of incurring cost when they have on ground what um, they need to actually 
um, take agriculture. Kogi State is playing his part in boosting food production and leading the charge is a man who came from a family of capable farmers. Governor Ahmed Usman Ododo, agriculture will help address not just insecurity. As far as Kogi State is concerned, our youth, they are ready to key into this farming. So what we are doing now presently, apart from the sensitization that is ongoing, all the coordinators, the tractor uh, operators, they are all young men. They have their own plot of uh, land within that vicinity because we must all key into it. Baba Jide Koladio Titoju, TVC News. Jide, it was quite an experience for you. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah. I saw clearly um, the efforts being made to ramp up food production in my state. We do not have a choice at this time because mm. food prices have hit the roof. So everywhere in the world, agriculture is subsidized. Yeah. Nigeria should never be an exception. And what we are saying is governors, states own the land. Every governor should do what yeah. Governor Dodo is doing. Because Support they can. The people. Because they can. They have the resources, they have everything. Yeah. Support the people. Those small holder farmers, support them to ramp up production. If yeah. we produce enough rice, there is no reason why rice will be uh, this expensive. But we don't produce enough. So you can imagine having 76 farm clusters where they are doing basically what they are doing mm. here. This is mm. the, the pilot scheme. Okay. And if you can continue along this line, honestly, the, the effect will be tremendous. And one thing that the governor has done, tractors were stolen. Really? Taken as far as Enugu State, and he recovered stolen uh, tractors, brought them back. That's a human's job. Yes, more than 250 tractors. tractors. Some taken illegally to farms in different parts of our country. He used his uh, background as an auditor to, I mean, to track investigate track, track, track. and then discover the locations. Yeah. Now they are repairing them. You see some of them in a terrible state. These are the okay. ones that they have, these are the ones they have, have uh, re yeah. repaired. You can see behind them, you see some carcasses of tractors. So as they are repairing them, they are sending they are them, them, yes, to farms in the three uh, senatorial zones. Look at them, they've, they've uh, imported uh, these tires, Tire. you know? Okay. These are the engineers. This is the uh, CEO of the company. And then the, um, the uh, COO, Chief Operating Officer. If we want to boost agriculture, we have to uh, oh, yeah. employ mechanized uh, agriculture. And this is what the state is doing. By the time all of these disused factors are revived and sent to support farming in the various locations, those 76 locations, honestly, it will have a good impact uh, on uh, food, B food supply. Chelsea's a uh, Edo State uh, produces uh, cassava. Yeah. yeah, we saw cassava and yam. And all that. And when, again, when, when you hear that Nigeria is the leading producer of cassava in the whole world, you, you are asking, so why, why can't we go there? Okay, let me not go to Edo. Let me still remain in Babajide's... Uh, because I'm very happy, as I said earlier, that um, um, good news is coming from that state. Mm. Um, I, I am particularly happy because I have a lot of fast friends from, from that state and uh, of which Babajide is one. And you, you know that recently, by the each time we talk about Kogi, uh, his smile widens because he has every right to be happy that uh, for the first time in many moons, um, yeah. what seemed to be good governance is uh, coming over. If don't, not a lot of people we are, we are saying because it's too early to say, but... Uh, when, once you see some elements of uh, nice to see a, good a good thing happen here, you can see how to support. And um, the, the, the key... Don't tell lies. No, of course. Now, the, the, the key words I, I, that actually, actually, you know, excite me, number one is that the ministry 
the Minister of Agriculture is just not Minister of Agriculture, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security. That's, that's very fundamental. That is just not mouthing that, oh, this is Minister of Agriculture, then you, you do the normal thing, talk, then you go do groundbreaking that you never end, end up breaking any ground. But food security, and that's attacking the problem headlong by saying food security. Let me rub this yes. in. Uh, uh, you will understand. Okay. If my Aquaibom state returns to production of, of palm, produ mm. production of palm oil, you know, and 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 allied uh, uh, yeah. a, a, a product and all that, exactly, will be ready. Yes. Now you, you also look at uh, they they're not just talking about because I know because we, where I come from in Nongwa, you have a lot of Ibera people who are uh, who have intermingled with us. They, they are subsistence farmers, there, but. Now you are looking at mechanized farming mm. that will increase the volume of production mm. in that place. Yes. Then you also have, I mean, what I like, Kogi has abundance of body of waters. Yes. Okay. That is exactly where River Niger and River Benue, they, 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 right. they exactly, they intermingle. And then, so farming in Kogi could be all year round, even yes. whether there's rain yes. or no rain. And I also understand if uh, my atlas, uh, we also speaking what we do in the circle, that Kogi borders about nine states, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So yeah. I, this and is the time it. for this um, administration to take advantage of that place that Kogi used to be. That Kogi used to, but now I also understand that um, what the government wants to do is to overtake its parent state, uh, uh, Benue state, as the food basket. Of the nation, so um, it, it's, yeah, it's gratifying yeah. to see that um, things are being done. Recently, they were also the ones who shared the was it rice over the. Yes, yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, after the, the governor took over. Kogi is Kogi. Kogi is appears to be to be. I mean, breasting the tape no, in terms in, of all uh, the uh, even four uh, four bills or so were passed. Uh, yes. Yesterday. So it's a good thing that uh, things are happening along uh, that line, and uh, then so uh, that once in a the while we can. These things point to mm. seriousness on the part of the governor to do things. And do things differently. Yes, um, that's it. He said he was born right on the farm. Mm. His mother. Do you know what called that people in Nongwa? His, his mother went into labor on while harvesting. Okay. So he has no reason to not uh, uh, support on, farming. On, on, and on the so, land. and yeah. he, he had always been a farmer himself with uh, 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 farmlands in different. So he's states. used to that as part of part yes. of the land. So now, being a governor, he realizes the need to support the farming population. This is what we have to do. We we have no choice. If we yeah. are saying that we want our people uh, to defeat uh, hunger, hunger and, and deprivation, and deprivation. Mm -hmm. this is a step. Uh, Good security. Go, uh, and no? we will be happy to see him take. I mean, uh, take this ambition a notch higher, higher yes. you know, mm -hmm. so that in the next few months, let's even begin to see the fruits of the governor's support and, and, for farmers and, and, and labor, you know. Yeah. And, and, and uh, in just in addition to that, Vajide, is that um, I just don't understand what they do when they gather as the governor's forum. These are some of the things they could be sharing ideas. Yes. yes. Because, for instance, I mean, the idea behind this uh, sea geopolitical zone mm. is to look at economic clusters. For instance, those states that are culturally and agriculture, all of them are fine. Mm. You could come together. You see, Belo State, Contigua State. Contigua State, they come together, share resources. To, I mean, put those together and then find, a, for instance, imagine Kogi, a door that is close. I know they are not the same, they are not the same zone, mm. but they could. Was I mean, look at Lagos State and Kebi, Lake, Lake Christ. Look at the distance. They were able to come together. One of them Lagos gave land, the other one, counterpart funding. Yes. So these are the yeah. things that our governor should be talking about when yes. they meet at the governor's forum. You know, and all that. The governors are it's not about they, sharing positions. They, they are simply interested in um, building uh, bridges, building roads. Yes. You know, those are highly capital intensive. Yeah, and uh, well, exactly. And people, People see those they things. They see those ah, things. He's doing a lot of work. Yeah. You know, some of, when you support agriculture, they may not see it. And the gain is not like what... Yeah, they, the visuals are not there. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yes, exactly. When the governor, mm. you know, and, and you know how corrupt the system is. Kickbacks will come from awarding big road projects mm. and all that. Mm. But now, you, want to, when you commit so much... You want, want to commission cassava... <laughs> <laughs> when you commit so much money to agriculture, it's so difficult. The kind of stuff that will come to yes. you from awarding big mm. road contracts, 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 They look yeah. at that along that line. Yeah. Yes. So many governors mm. may not be uh, thinking along. Right. Because there's nowhere to eat. But in, for in everyone's food. good, for everyone's good, we need to support agriculture. We need to go back mm. to farms. Mm. Uh, we always say that Coco House and the rest of those big achievements that exactly we're we proceed proceed from from, uh, from agriculture. Yeah, exactly. From cash crops. Mm -hmm. But and, oil and, and, came. And everybody, we, all, we, we went we, mad. We just, we to we all went mad. You, you know? cannot forget now, Kano, the old city of. Yes, they are not pyramids. Those pyramids are gone. They are gone. They are gone. It, you know what they do in that place now, where we used to have pyramids? They wash clothes. Ah. They became a uh, feeling wanka. They hide about the, rubber, the robbers in, uh, in uh, Do what rivers what and all that. What does feeling wanka mean? What does it mean? Uh, field where you wash. Oh, okay. All right. As you say, all those uh, people, local. Uh, yes. Uh, dry cleaners. That's where they convert. <laughs> Some uh, they even carve part of it now. Uh, they sell. They sell uh, uh, used cars. Yeah. Where we used to have gran oh, granite pyramids. Yeah, iconic granite pyramids. Okay. And when we had rudimentary technology. I don't know. At that time. I don't know. Look at Israel, a small country. Country at, that has no land. Achievements in agriculture. And, they don't at, have and we are copying from them. Look at the size of the country. We are we are we are importing their we are importing their technology here.